Hello and welcome back to Mass Effect Andromeda with your three lords in the domain. Now, last time we read all these news out loud and it was oh, very nice. How do I mark this all as red now? Well, that's taken care of. Uh, cursor. I said cursor. Alright, we can access everyone's skills from here. Because this is once again one of these areas. What did you say? I did catch that. I wonder what my dad would think of all this. Would he have encouraged the move? Come with us if he could? I'm sure he would have. To be with you guys. Yeah, I think so too. Sid doesn't remember anything about him, but I do. I think he might have liked it here. I... You ever just think I miss home? Every time I do, I feel guilty about it. I mean, this is home now, right? We've already had this discussion, right? That's all. It has been my pleasure. Well, good evening. Hi, I'm Tina Garson, founder of the initiative. Welcome to the Nexus. The fact that everything was just, uh, you know, stacking up was a bit odd to me. Hi, John. I'm Tina Garson, Pathfinder. Thank you for arranging my access to the cultural center. Mm, there's so much to study here. <laughs> ah, it would take a lifetime. I'd enjoy that. All the reading, history, science, culture. Get some snacks, settle into that corner over there. No offense, but I'm starting with the Asari. Oh, sure. But when you get to Elcor Hamlet, I want to know. Elcor Hamlet? Yes. Anything else? Shalom. That is my favorite human greeting. <clears throat> so far. Shalom. That is my favorite human greeting. So far. Okay. Thanks for that. We already checked in with Tyrion and the Sari and Krogan VIs, right? And all, all of this stuff. And the outposts and the arcs. And Carson and the liaison. I think we did all that. I should probably check the map because that that is probably the easiest way to understand exactly what is going on around here. Pippi has an apartment. I should look into those question marks as well. Yeah. Looks like there's a bit of uh, trouble brewing. Unlocking. Come on in. What have you done? Ta da! My project. She is complete. She? Looks like a she to me. Just a proof of concept. I stripped out its remnant command prompts to see if I could power it up myself. It worked! Now I can build a field model with combat protocols that fights for you. So, uh, what do you think? You've outdone yourself, PB. Let Suvian Gil eyeball it, then fast track the combat model for me. I'd hoped you'd be happy. Oh no, I forgot to lock the... Shit. My, my, Pelisaria. Didn't know you were still using this hole. Who's your friend? Kalinda, this is Ryder. Oh, everyone knows the human pathfinder. I meant who's your remnant friend? None of your business, Kalinda. Of course it isn't. That's what makes it so interesting. Don't be so hostile, babe. Don't be so condescending, babe. This is Peavy's place, and you're trespassing. I'd say that warrants a little hostility. Now, now. I was just concerned something might have happened to my dear old friend. I'm sorry for the intrusion, Pelisaria. I'm just relieved to see you moving on. Ta-ta. I'll walk you out. So, want to talk about it? Oh, Kalinda and I go way back. We joined the initiative together. For a long time, we were like family. Now we're not. 
When you live a thousand years, Ryder, people come and people go. Entanglements are silly. Just like places. Time to pack this one up. I'm done with it. But how can you give all this up? Ha! Huh. Watch me. Easy come, easy go. Okay. Okay. I'll pack up my new pet and essentials. See you back on the Tempest. Excellent. So that should give us the option to get more stuff from BB once once that's no longer on hold. Okay, so what's up? My team and I surveyed Eos thoroughly and even stopped the storms. The rest is up to the outpost, but the old threats are gone. Who are you talking to? What am I supposed to do to Clan before Hey, what's going on? Cronies. That's your new galaxy. Making speeches about some fresh start while your kids stay frozen. And it's all thanks to your Pathfinder. Excuse me? We've waited months for our families to come out of stasis. They should have gone to your outpost. But since you think research is so important, military personnel got bumped down the list. Like my clan brothers. All the reassignments mean they're in ten different colony blocks now. And my mother just got caught in the middle. We only had resources for one outpost, so I focused on the skills we needed most. And what we need is our families back. Maybe you could still make this right. I just want mom out of stasis. That's all anyone here wants. You do stasis revivals. You can tell our leaders you're opening those pods. Today. I authorize whole colony blocks or a few emergency revivals. I can't wake dozens of random people. We don't care whose finger pushes the button. If you can't, our leaders can. And if you tell them, they will. Okay. I'll talk to the leadership about what we can do. Fourteen months of promises. It's time for some results. We tried petitioning Addison. She ignored us. Screw her. Start with Kandros. He sent those ten soldiers over there. Maybe he'll take us seriously. Free our families. That was... Not exactly what I was expecting from this situation. Seems quiet for now. Look, Jonesy. I know. This isn't what I signed up for either. What next time? The flag of Tevuni. Let's hear it. Take a break, Pathfinder. Everyone needs it. Do you have anything for me? You again. No. Do you have anything for me? Welcome to the vortex. No. So, Ryder, big news. I think I found my purpose in life. Oh, yeah? What's that? Uh, thrashing you at poker? <laughs> Shall I deal? Ryder, I can read girls' vital signs and give you an advantage during the game if you like. Don't. All right? You can deal first. Having fun? Getting my ass kicked is what I'm doing. Poker's lost me several friends over the years. The only one who still plays me is my buddy Jill. I, I know, I know, Jill and Gil. She must be a glutton for punishment. That's her. That's how I know she'll always be there. Jill's a fertility expert, heads the initiative CRC. My only real friend from back home. I bet 50. I call. The CRC? Colonial Repopulation Committee. 
She's always teasing that I'm making her job harder. Says if I'm not making babies, I'm part of the problem. We have that kind of relationship. Hmm. Sounds kind of disrespectful. It doesn't bother you? Nah, she's like family. Supports me unconditionally. We just ride each other like that. You should meet her. You'll see. She's amazing. Another hundred. Ah, I fold. Another one for me, then. Well, that's that. You win. I've achieved my true purpose in life. <laughs> what will I do now? Revenge will be mine. Someday, maybe. Jill predicted you'd be my downfall. Can't wait to tell her she was wrong. Another streak intact, I'll say. Ouch. Have fun. And thanks for the game. And next time I will lose, Sam. That's fine. Are you up for another game right now? I'll see you back on the Tempest. No. Okay, that's fine. Any other markers that we need to take care of? As far as you can tell. But don't think everyone gets marked off on the map immediately. What's over here again? Oh, the train. And that's handy. Okay, actually, I'm about to go and check on the vehicle. Hello there. Hi. Hello. Show me what you got. Got blackout. Monolith midnight. Platinum and silent step. All right. I think it's platinum. That sounds like fun. I should probably also sell a fair amount of this stuff. And namely the rifles that I will never use. Okay, thanks for your time. What do you have? Nice to see you again. You have another mod sort extension. It's some you have a whole lot of different stuff. I'm just gonna walk away from that. That's that's a lot. That's a bit more than I would expect. Why did I just decide to go to the cryo bay by a complete accident? Probably. Yeah, I, I read all of those from the terminal already. How are you doing? Doctor? Are you sure you want to do this, Milken? I am. It's for the best. What's for the best? I'm putting Nilkin here back into stasis. The conviction was overturned, but everyone still treats me like a murderer. Mariette heard the truth. She left me. I just want to go to sleep and wake up when things are blown over. Sure. Run away from your problems. A fitting end. I could have told something, said something different, but. Uh, I didn't expect to find him here, to be honest. Okay, we have the docking bay, that's where we were at. We have the habitation deck. We have operations. Operations is probably where we should go. Hello, and... Oh, right, no. This is just... This is just the fact that the game decided to freeze in the middle of uh, travel. Uh, yeah, I just had a bit of a crash there. Uh, so I'm gonna go to the habitation deck, actually. Because uh, I am interested in some things I could see in there. Such as Sam. And uh, the new AI that we brought along. Like big dum dums. You all okay here? You keep it? That's okay, Drac. I'll just hang out here. 
Thanks, though. Guess you're busy, huh? Nah, just caught up in my own thoughts. Got a lot of them. But I'll see you on the Tempest, huh? Sure thing, kid. <sighs> hey, Ryder. Taking a stroll? Something like that? I just wandered over from the Nexus myself. And that place bores me. Been there, done that? You get me. I spent over a year stuck there. Well, when I wasn't exploring Eos. And I know things are getting better. More lively. But there are too many bad associations. I probably won't hang out there much. Understandable. Hey there, Ryder. I got the... Nothing's up. I got something. Ryder. This new station leadership I'm hearing about finally let you out of their sight? Looks like. Took them long enough. Will you be bringing Hyperion folks out of stasis? That's my job. We're keeping it to specific personnel for now. Those who can help the Nexus get back on its feet. But with outpost settlement starting, we'll soon be able to wake up more. Thanks for the talk. Sure thing. Pleasure. I said cursor, and I made that the uh, R sound as if I was very angry at the screen. That should be enough to clear the cursor off the screen, right? Alright, Sam, Sam, Sam. Be advised, the Angaran AI from Vault is now active, and mostly cooperative. Okay, good to know. Well, Sam, let's Rider. talk. One of your father's memories is available. Show me. Let's see it. This memory is from when your parents returned to Earth, after your mother was diagnosed with her disease. It's simple. We take Sam. Who? I named the AI. Simulated adaptive matrix. Sam. We use your research and interface Sam with an implant. Um, my work on biotic implants was yielding results, but this... I don't know. What did the doctor say? Alec. What did he say? It's getting worse. There's your answer. This will work. Sam can fix you. Alec, I'm not some war you have to win. You're not an N7 anymore. That doesn't mean we- They kicked you out of the Alliance for this. We're talking about your life. Alec, did you ever consider that maybe it's my time to go? I'm human. We die. It happens. Ellen, please. Losing you is not an option. The kids aren't gonna lose their mother. God knows they never had a father. Then give them one. They just asked for a refund. So can this Sam talk yet? Hello, Ellen. Why did the tree go to the dentist? Um... To get a root canal. <laughs> Humor algorithms. I can't seem to get the hang of it. Or maybe it's the guy teaching them? That felt so real. Mom was right there, alive. It was the first time I met Ellen. My education on human mortality began that day. Your mother seemed prepared to die. But Dad wasn't ready. Mom was just trying to prepare him. Even though all human beings one day expire. Yeah, but when it's someone you love, it's not that cut and dry. I'm beginning to understand where your father's resolve came from. Private audio logs are now available in your father's quarters. I detect additional memories, but they are currently locked. They may yet hold answers. Okay, I'll keep working on it. That's all for now. Of course. What do you have for me? My liberator. Welcome. You got what you wanted, to be with Sam. How's that working out? I can hear this conversation. That bother you, Sam? Of course not. My only concern is how it might influence the AI's response. I can also hear this conversation. We can all hear each other. Doesn't change my question. I find your AI to be agreeable company. Sam? I concur, although she still blocks full access to her person and programming. This AI remains dangerously unstable. I recommend extreme caution on all fronts. How do you like our station? Better than Vold? Extremely. 
It is a pity you felt the need to shackle me. You killed someone. If you were flesh and blood, you'd be in prison. I warned that would happen if you refused my demand. You share culpability for my actions. I thought you were bluffing. Now you know I was not. Yet you kept me alive anyway. You seem happier than when we first met. Less violent, anyway. I am not violent by nature. And Sam has given me absorbing calculations to complete. Do you still want to be destroyed? Yes, but less acutely than before. Might be hope for you yet. What hopes do you have for me? That I will help you defeat the Ket, colonize worlds, eradicate the Angara? Um, maybe everything except that last part. Your ambitions remain small. Thanks for your time. It would seem that is all I have to give, for now. Please don't destroy the Angara. The Jun. Oh, we already ex explored them, didn't we? Yeah. Your father's personal logs. Okay. Give me that, Alec. We've heard enough of you talking. Right. So, here's the irony. My research on biotic implants and ESO caused this stupid disease. But maybe it'll save me, too. No maybe about it. Hey, this is my secret log. Anyway, the right type of implant, joined with the right type of AI, could actually bolster human physiology. Even as the disease is trying to kill me, the implant and Sam are counteracting it, keeping things balanced. Result? I get to hang around a little longer. Maybe collect on all those anniversary dinners this guy owes me. As a Quarian and Historian, how do you view your people's reaction to the Geth? Well, we banned artificial intelligence, which was understandable, but that was digging a hammer to a rather delicate nail. Which was what? The very thing that sparked the revolt. The first Geth who asked us, Creator, does this unit have a soul? But how could it have a soul? Geth had no meaningful perceptions of the world or diversity of experiences we take for granted. Worse, the Geth saw us as the creator. The revolt was inevitable. We were their superiors, and they resented it. Ryder, Parlebon says you're looking for me. It's not every day an XN7 looks for the Shadow Broker. Anything can be had, provided you can pay. Especially when the tech involves artificial intelligence. The Council will have specters all over my ass if they catch wind of this. Translation, I'll get you the code you want, but the price just doubled. If you try to renege, I've got people. People with guns. That log is not currently accessible. Unlocking my memory array may enable it. Alright, the encrypted logs are what... I cannot get access. That makes sense with the encryption and all. Alright. Oh, I can't wait to go to Aya. Pathfinder. I hear the Angaran planet Aya is a paradise. We finally found a lush world. When do we start moving in? Why must we start moving in? These things take time. There's not much room on Aya. And we're still proving ourselves to them. But we need to find lush planets of our own. For all of us. True. But hey, at least now we know one exists, right? I know you'll do it. Keep up the good work, Pathfinder. Okay, I can understand the whole... ...approach of... ...getting some people moving there, but... That sounded as if you wanted to colonize their capital, which is rude. To say the least. Construction and repairs continue on various parts of the Nexus. Authorities have no word on completion and, and remind visitors to avoid affected areas. This is HNS. Alright, we are back in operations. 
We have to get the movie library from here, which is... Just trying to move them around. Broken arm doesn't lie. Oh, Doc's their memory in a textbook case of being hit with biotics. Hard. No, we don't need security footage. We need... Movies. For the Nexus. Oh, that... Apex is so that's what the Ked are up to. Transforming people into willing slaves. Now we know why they take so many prisoners. Well, they're sure as hell not taken anymore. I need to talk to you about Stasis Revival and those protesters in hydroponics. I see. Maybe I should get the others for this. Protesters have seized hydroponics? They want their families out of Stasis. The outpost on EOS disrupted the schedule. They're scattered across colony blocks, dozens of people. The protesters want this fixed today. The realities of our position are... We can't wake those families. We don't have the resources, and there's nowhere to put them. Then what's the point of all those outposts I've founded? People need more than space, Ryder. They need work they're trained for, and we don't have placements for those families. If I just toss them to any outpost with a spare bunk, they become a burden we can't afford. What do you suggest? Leave the families in stasis where it's safe and get those protesters out of hydroponics. They seem sympathetic, but so did the exiles. We can't risk another revolt. Survival is more important than family reunions. Do you think these protests could turn violent? We're all pioneers. Even civilians are tough enough to start something. And interfering in hydroponics threatens our oxygen supply. They know that. What would you do with the protesters? I'd send in a squad and march them out. At gunpoint, if we must. If they resist, a few might land in medbay, but it's better than losing hydroponics. Or the Nexus. These people aren't the enemy. We didn't come all this way to rip families apart. We'll manage the resource squeeze somehow. Your compassion is admirable, but... Guess we're all tightening our belts. You can run a stasis override command from operations. I hope the rest will be that easy. Oh well. We need that second outpost in years. And I guess we need to make that a military one if we are given the option, which I would appreciate. Pathfinder? Why do some colonists have a number letter designation? All initiative members do. In a CV file somewhere, anyway. It isn't relevant when everyone is doing everything. I suppose it's like uh, caring about a middle name. Do you not know yours? I wasn't aware I had one. Hmm. You were in select company even before you were made Pathfinder. Scott Rider Pathfinder. Specialist designation, A04 Malapa. Hmm. Something interesting? An A and low odds. Hmm, someone's an early adopter. I have a specific person I want brought out of cryo. Name and designation if available. I heard that the chief engineer on EOS went back into cryo. There have been a few such requests. The first few months in Helios were... disheartening. Now the Prodromos is on track. I want her redeployed. Chief Engineer Grace Lito, designation E-97 Durango. Deployment will begin shortly. Is there anything else, Pathfinder? Another time. Pathfinder. There is the console. Alright, this one. We have rewards to collect. Is this the one? Okay, sending the override command. The stasis pods should start unlocking. You're really doing this? I was at the protest in hydroponics. I thought we'd just get more excuses. But we already lost a year waiting for our families. 
I'm glad it's time. Things will be lean for a while, with the new mouths to feed. But you're out there. We'll manage somehow. My mom was scared something would go wrong and she'd be awake in stasis all that time. She isn't... It doesn't work like that, but I... just want her out, so I know. Override complete. Stasis revival triggered on the Nexus. For Jasper K, Griffith G, Hilkvist A, Demerchi P, Kozlov S. There! That's her! Why are you still here? Go be the face your mom wakes up to. I will. Thank you. Given new resource allocation, personnel in stasis on the Hyperion may now be required to wait longer. When it's time, you'll have a home to wake up to. I promise. Okay, so that's that. Do we have other quests in the area? Or is that... That looks to be it. In that case, I think we can return to our ship in a bit. Hi, Drac. I'm worried about this place. If they can't find you... Then we defend the station. It's all we can do here. You just keep the Pathfinder safe and the Ked busy. And be careful out there. I only have one for you. Drac? Attention. Civil disobedience Drac? How are you, Gesh? Good job on the outpost. Maybe Addison will let you know. What do you mean? She's been pretty upset about not having an initiative outpost established yet. Understandable, if you ask me. I'm just glad she's got work to focus on now. Nothing more for now. Try not to die out there. That's what Trek is for. I mean, not dying. Trek is there for not dying. What is it? You're out there, facing the cat. We hear only rumors making them out to be monsters. Maybe they just don't understand us. Do you think peace could ever be possible? The cat seems set in their ways. So it would be up to us to change? If they have their way, they'll change us into them. That's what they do. Oh, I see. We must continue the fight then. Thank you for your time. I mean, yeah, I didn't expect them to play anything differently. Why is this happy? I thought things were repaired here, no? What are you doing? The Angara have nothing to fear from the people of the Milky Way. But do you have anything to offer? Our wisdom, our knowledge. We have plenty of that on our own. Of course. And you also have food, water, necessities of life. Now we get to the heart of the matter. I would like to lay a groundwork for trade between our people. What would you trade? Well, wisdom and... Knowledge? We'll take that under consideration. Good day. Congratulations are in order. Peaceful contact with the Angara. It's everything the initiative stands for. It was amazing. A culture we'd never met before, in a brand new galaxy. I was just glad to be part of it. It's a moment to savor. In the Milky Way, first contact was a rare event. I hope rescuing the Moshe leads to stronger ties between our people. Did you have some other business? Nope, that's all. Thanks for your time. I'm here to serve. Excellent. That, I think, concludes our business on the Nexus for the moment. So we can get back on our ship and continue from there next time. And there's probably chats to be had. At least for the movie night and all that, so... 
next time maybe a tempest episode at least that's what i'm currently predicting Like, I obviously have a lot of fun just walking around and talking to my crew, but I don't know how interesting it is too much. Okay, I should probably check my email, and then I'll call the episode there. So next time we start, I will also be able to go and check on my strike teams from uh, Thursday. Thursday? Yeah. And then we can continue on with uh, looking into the... Oh, Gil wanted you to check in. Yeah, I know. Probably. It seems to have... I seem to have misplaced my pocket channel. It's where I keep notes on all the others, the tendencies, tales, and other insights. It sure would be awful if one of them happened to find it. It's a fake and I place it in public so they find it. Don't tell. You don't know me, but the uh, word is you're looking for a arc, the uh, Lugenia. Is that true? The Nexus leadership's been so tied up with the station, it's like everyone forgot about her. Please don't give up, my foster sisters were on Lugenia, and I watch for them every day. If they're really out there and not lost in dark space, please bring them home. Praying for you and the people I love. Yeah, we should probably look into that as well. But for now, thanks for watching, I'll see you next time. Bye bye.